Okay, coming on the back of Wednesday's news that Sean Kyo um, has signed a two-year contract. We're delighted to announce that Daryl Hogan has also signed a contract extension to keep here till 2026, Hogs. Yeah. You're going nowhere now. I'm going nowhere. Yeah. Great news, obviously. Um, I'm sure for yourself now you've you've obviously committed for an... You were here until the end of next season, but an extra year. So it, it, sort, of, it sort of ties you to the dog for the foreseeable future. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously the... Brian and the, the manager said it to me and something I really wanted to do mm-hmm. you know obviously been tough enough this year but um, I see a lot of uh, good things coming and um, you know I can really see us going on and kicking on in the future and it's something I want to be a part of You say two things there Brian and obviously John wanted you to, 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 to sign a, an extension which is when you consider where we are at this moment in time we're, we're scrapping down to the bottom mm-hmm. but it's a sign that we need to keep building and planning for the future ahead, no, ma- no matter where we end up. Yeah, look, I suppose we're not thinking that way. Mm. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're all guns blazing to stay in the in the Premier Division, and the owners put that forward. Obviously, the amount of players we've brought in, things like that, uh, showing faith in the manager, and obviously the manager since he come in has, has done brilliant. Mm. So you know, there's been a lot of really really good signs on that. Obviously, very very disappointing last week, but. There has been some very, very good performances and a lot of improvement, I feel. It's it's one of those, even speaking to John yesterday, if we can stay up, you know, you've got you've got the benefit of lads who've it's been a big overhaul sort of in the middle of the season, but the benefit of that can be then you're going into pre season next year with lads who've sort of know the place to know the, the way the manager works. So it, it is just all about sort of keeping us into the, the division this year now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely, you know, and I'm very, very kind of confident that we will. Mm. Stay and you know we've I, th- I feel we've a very good group. Um, obviously the manager's been very good. We we just we just need to push on that small bit more. Mm. But a lot of the performance have been there, a lot of good things, and now it's just marrying everything together. Um, obviously it's difficult when there's so much change, so much turnover. Um, but there does seem to be a bit of a, a settling down period mm. now, and you know we go up to Derry with a huge game, but. You know, going up to win that game as well. For, from your point of view, I think one of the things John said when he came in was that he, he spoke to and he wanted you to wanted you to start scoring goals and you know more assists. You've definitely you've definitely responded with that, especially in the goal the goal point of view. Yeah, yeah. Look, always good to, to score goals. Um, delight to be able to to chip in in that sense as well. Um, I can't really put my finger on why that yeah. happens, but sometimes in football the ball just doesn't land to you. Um, or you get the odd opportunity and just just be snatching at it, not confident. But they seem to be landing now, and they've been going in, which is a uh, which is brilliant. So hopefully, long may that continue. The one the one against Bulls and Daly meant probably the perfect example. Just fell fell lovely for you and yeah, through the exactly. legs, and you know what's in the net. Exactly, kind of just you're just wandered into the box on your on your toes, and the ball just lands, and yeah. thankfully it went in. Obviously, we mentioned Sean. Obviously, he's come in today. He's one of the young lads that's come in this year. Signed a pro deal in January. He's now signed an extension. He's mentioned the likes of you as a as a big influence in the dressing room. Is that is that something? Did you ever see yourself sort of becoming that when you were a, a younger player? Uh, I, I I suppose in a sense that I always wanted to be someone who would help. Yeah, you know, I've played with lads who are really really positive and helpful. I've played with lads who are really unhelpful. Yeah, who yeah. Would, you know stand all over you to get into the team and get over you and yeah. make sure you didn't get an opportunity. So I never wanted to be that. Yeah, but I wanted to be someone who would be positive. A positive influence, and then you've got the other the other side of that is you've got Sean, who's done really really well. Mm. You know, he was kind of no one really knew of mm. Sean. He came in for a friendly against Shells and was exceptional, mm. and then has just gone from strength to strength. Obviously, got his opportunity in the first team at the minute and has done really really well. Deserves his deserves his deal, and you know has a really bright future. I don't. Yeah, well, you've obviously. Think people might have seen you were with the women under seventeen academy team last last week doing a bit of coaching. I think you were at the under fourteen boys last night. Is it is that something you see yourself down the line getting into the coaching sort of route? Uh, yeah, look, I'd love to. Mm. I'd, I'd absolutely love to. It's something I've a real kind of passion for. I kind of started that over in England. Um, I was coaching the team Beaconsfield Town, kind of under under eighteens, and I was doing a bit of work with them. It was just on my time off, like, mm. and then got back over here and. I hadn't really got into it, was kind of finding my feet and everything. Uh started getting into now the last couple of months and done a bit of work with the twenties, the seventeens, seventeens women's and now the fourteens as well. Yeah. So I uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. 
So that's something I'd, I'd love to go into, but you know, there's limited opportunities in football for coaching. But yeah. like like that, it'd be something I'd be really would push for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten games left. Obviously, you mentioned Derry Derry away tomorrow night. This is the start of the the running. Mm. I think it's no, uh, it's not digging anybody out. But last last Friday wasn't good enough against Galway. I think everybody everybody knows that it, the performance is going to have to be a lot better up there tomorrow evening. Yes and no. So mm. for large spells, especially the first half, I thought we were very, very good. The middle part of the, the towards the end of the first half. Yeah, I'd say from fifteen minutes mm. on, like obviously Galway are, you know, they're very, very difficult to play against at times. They just make you defend the box. Anytime you throw in a corner, that ball goes in the box, yeah. and it's really effective and it's really difficult to play against. But we stood up to that. We wrestled some control of the game, and I thought we were on the ascendancy. Unfortunately, second half, what, as you mm. say, wasn't good enough. You know, wasn't good enough. We didn't get any kind of control on the ball. We didn't defend as well as we should have. We didn't hold on to the ball like we should have. So that side of it was very, very disappointing because we had wrestled the momentum mm. out of the game. But look, we have to we have to bounce back from that now and we go up to Derry, which is going to be, we know it's going to be a very, very difficult game up at Brandywell. But we're going up there looking for the three points. Um, that's the aim. And look, we know it's going to be difficult, but we feel we can get that. Yeah.